look at that. Looking a little closer at the CNC version of the retraction system, which unfortunately is version 7, we have the four needle carriers and we have the cable runs. Two of the cable runs were so long that we had to machine them in two pieces, hence the sad looking aluminum welds. And the tabs are all held on with JB weld. We've got to do some drilling and tapping to attach the shell directly to the retraction system. So from the stepper motors, we've got these cogged pulleys using a sinker mesh cable. And that cable, adjusted with this tensioner here, runs the full length up to each of the rows where you've got a double pulley system to reverse the cables without adding friction and up to these shuttles that will carry the individual needle rows and these now move with a very acceptable level of friction that just was not possible with the previous systems so complicated system all CNC aluminum a lot of testing involved here Welcome to our first person view of the Needler animation system. We're going to give a first person perspective to the mag dump animation and hopefully a full reload and take a look from the sides as we go around. Look at all those needles. You can see some of the animation system here, the CNC aluminum channels, the cables, the pulleys that make it all work. So let's take a look here. Bam! Nice. Here we go again. front row. Here we go again. Look at that. Let's take another look at the reload and the mag dump and talk about some ways forward here. As you'll notice that the whole shot sequence takes almost seven and a half seconds, uh, which is about three seconds too long. So what we're going to do to fix that is to continue to tune the motors and acceleration curves to get the best speed we can for each row. But then we'll also do some overlap. So row three will start to retract maybe before row four has completed its sequence and two and one so that we can get it down to the desired 4.3 seconds total cycle time for a uh, mag dump. And of course the reload, that's perfect. That takes just the right amount of time. So let's take a look. So it's going to try to retract all the rows because the computer thinks that they're all the way extended. And then here it goes with the reload. There we go. So that works out about perfect. A couple seconds, a couple seconds more, a few seconds, and of course this one's a long one. But we do get them pretty much all inside, just a little bit long of a sequence. You could watch this all damn day. 